y'all so i'm going to be doing a wig video on some hair that i got from ebony online now y'all won't believe the price of this wig i think it's around it's under 20 dollars. i know for sure so i'm sorry i got pepper in my mouth from yeah i don't know <laughs> but um yes i got off with ebony online and it is under 20 dollars. it's a half wig unit so the wig that i have is from sensational this is the instant weave and it's uh i guess you style it in 60 seconds we're gonna see it's probably gonna take me a little bit longer i want it to look a little bit natural and her name is izzy and the color we have is f uh 1b 30 so my the, well not the streaks but like the tips of my hair is a 30 so i was like okay this will probably go perfect if i have a little bit of leave out with you know my hair color or whatever so um it's actually the one that i'm reviewing is the one that the model is actually wearing and she does come in uh fb 130 um <laughs> fb f 1b 30 um t 1b 27 which is a little bit lighter and then t oh okay now that one probably look a little bit more better now the t is probably like the tips so t 1b 30 which i probably want to try that one next that might be what i need to try um t 1b 613 t 1b bg which is like a I wouldn't even say it's not 99J. So um, this is she. I have worn her. So y'all don't don't judge her. Don't judge me. Like I'm gonna show y'all how I put on because I have worn her and she does look a little bit worn. But we're gonna make her cute. She still have some of her curls. And I think, like I said, the older synthetic units get, I feel like it looks a little bit more natural. All right, y'all. So I already have my hair braided off. So this is gonna be the leave out, and this is gonna be our anchor braid. So I just have two plaits and all that i didn't braid it all up so what i'm going to do is i want to do a side part when i originally wore her out insert a picture i left a little bit more leave out and i did a center part but i felt like the wig was a little baggy now she does have the comb at the top and the back and adjustable strap so i tighten her up as possible as i can but i feel like she kind of bunches up a bit when i do have too much leave out so what i'm going to do is kind of cock her to the side because i do want to do a side part and just shove that comb in and we're going to use some bobby pins but i recommend if you're going to wear this wig out sew it down your anchor braid so it can stay on we don't need no losing wigs in 2018 or 2019 so i'm not going to sew mine down just for video purposes but i'm going to change this wig out but just make sure you cover up that braid so i would insert a bobby pin here okay so i'm gonna put my bobby pin over here so i can have that part to stay down and I'll insert another one over here so next I'm gonna do is kind of brush her and part it to where I want her to go I do want her to go to the side so we're gonna fix that with the leave out like I told y'all I have worn her out already I've been wearing her to work on and off and I'm still trying to get comfortable because I haven't worn a half week since last Mogan and that was 2011 2012 i believe when i first started youtube and last smoke was like real 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 popular she's popular again now but if y'all know i'm talking about this wig um she's real popular now that was like the best synthetic curly wig that everybody was wearing because they didn't have aliexpress back then if they did we didn't know nothing about it so i don't know if i'm gonna try to do the no part or the part and she can be curled i believe up to 350 i am gonna curler to uh put some of the curls back in and do a curl test on camera because i know me brushing her out she kind of lost a little bit of her curls and got a little frizzy at the end like some synthetic units do so i'm just gonna try to section her off to where i want her so now what i'm gonna do is undo it undo my braid a little leave out and then we're gonna flat iron our leave out as well so I'm going to just clip Izzy back a little bit. Y'all, I done deep conditioned the hell out of my hair this weekend. So my hair feel nice and soft. I did like a little concoction, which I'll probably do a video on that later on. But anywho, I'm going to take my baby bliss. I kind of want to put some castor oil on it because I know my hair might revert back because it used a little bit of oil. Now I did mix some castor oil and some wild grow. This is my first time trying wild grow. So I'm definitely going to do a video on it. I'm going to take my um, hair affinity and biotins and all the other stuff. And then I'm really trying to grow out my hair. So that's what I'm in the process of working on. 
and I've been trying the castor oil with the um, peppermint oil. So what I find out what I was going to do was, I didn't find out what I was going to do. What I realized what I'm going to do is go back to my protective styling. That's how I originally started when I first went natural because I wasn't comfortable with my length at first. Um, until I was able to like flat iron it, but I used to just wear half wigs, wear, um, little twists. Sometimes I'll do it on my hair, not twist outs, but like little twists, kind of like braids. And then I'll put like some castor oil on my hair, take my biotin and all that jazz. So, and I did recently cut my hair probably, I wouldn't even say recently, I'll probably say like three, two months ago, maybe. I cut out a lot, a lot, so I'm just going to massage that in and let the rest kind of go to the tips. Alright, so what I'm going to do now, take my hard brush and my hot ass baby bliss iron. Just cause I know that's gonna burn. So I hope y'all got to see me blend it in. If not, I'm sorry. I just flat ironed it and I brushed it in. But I was trying to see if y'all can actually see the highlights in the hair. Because you know the top portion is me. And then kind of can see it throughout the hair a little bit. But I am going to curl the hair. So, or put a little heat on it so it can be a little bit more smoother. Alright y'all, we're going to blend it in a little bit more later on. But I'm going to add a little bit of edge control I'm using the Murray's Edge Wax Extreme Hold. This is, I when I had my sew-in, um, probably back in December, January, probably January, um, I was using this a lot, a lot. And I wound up liking it, but I feel like it really works better when your hair is pressed. Um, or if you're relaxed, but if you're natural, hair pressed. But I'm just going to do a little edges a little bit. I'm trying to angle my mirror so I can see. So if y'all see me looking over here, I'm looking in the mirror. I don't know if I'm going to do my edges on this side because I'm going to be wearing my bane on this side. And I do find that this edge control works best when you tie your hair down for just like a little bit. I feel like every damn edge control you tie your hair down. But y'all, I'm going to work on my edges off camera then I'm going to come back.
this Izzy is done and complete and slightly blended in as much as I could do. <laughs> so yeah, um, so I am loving Izzy. I'll talk about the cons and the pros. So I'll start off with the cons first, which is very little. The cap size for Izzy is really big. Like I said, I don't have a small head, but I don't have a large head. Um, so I kind of like, feel like I'm in between like a large, like a medium large. Um, but yeah, that's probably a good thing though. If you do have a lot of hair, or if you throw your head up on the and have a little space back there, it's the only thing I don't like. Um, it does tangle. Um, I haven't noticed any shedding at all, but so I mean, they well constructed the unit. I just wish it had a little bit more combs in it. Um, I will probably revamp her and do some flexi rods, put in some hot boiling water, add a little bit more curls. I'll definitely film that. Um, because I do like her, like the color placement is perfect. Like, I don't even have to dye my hair black anymore. Like, I was like, oh, sometimes I wish, I wish my hair was black and all this stuff, but the way how my hair is. It's really dark at the root and I still have my tips. So it's kind of like I can get away with wigs that have like the little peekaboo highlights that I actually have. Um, but like I said, on the main thing is the tangling and the actual cap sizing. But other than that, the hair is pretty decent. I have seen a couple of reviews um, that a couple ladies did. They got the natural 1B. Um, me, I kind of want to do something different. Also, I saw what the model had. I was like, you know what? I could do some little peekaboo things, you know, with it. But, um... Like I said, like this wig is versatile. I've worn it with the center part, but I told y'all about that little extra bagginess I had going on in the back of my dome. Like, yeah, I just didn't like that part. But this wig is pretty decent and it is very affordable, under $20. And y'all gonna put the website right here in the video because I don't wanna send y'all to some damn porn site. I think I said Ebony Online. Like, <laughs> I'm just gonna put the website here and I will have it linked below where you can check out this unit and any of their other units on the site. So hopefully Boost will enjoy this video and I will see Boost in the next one. Bye.